Hi and welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Once again, technology information. Today we are going to talk about the Caterpillar EMCP 3.2 wiring diagram. I explain the pins, how to rewire and how to diagnose the system. I want to make on this complete wiring to divide it into three four sessions because the whole wiring and whole pin outs is very long okay I make this complete wiring of EMCP 3.2 and three four videos because if I want to make in one videos the one video is going to be to the longest okay therefore let's get started this is our caterpillar EMCP 3G.3.2 wiring. Okay. The caterpillar 3.2 EMCP wiring. I take the, some important pins from the wirings and explain to all my friends to understand how the wiring connection, how to be doing the wiring connection, how and how what is the main supply of this EMCP 3.2. Okay. Let's get started. First of all, for wake up and turning on, main supply is our pin, the big side, big side connector. I think 70 pins connector. Okay. You remove the pin connector and see and look the inside. You note these numbers on your connectors. 52 is your positive supply and 65 is your negative supply for turning the EMCP 3.2 wiring okay if your if your EMCP 3 not turning on you check this supply first this supply these two pins check the reading with the multimeter you should be take 12 volt or 24 volt if you not have supply on these two pins because your EMCP is not on this is the main part you trace these two wires step by step and check where is the virus is cut or break to make uh, reconnect and check it again if you have supply on this two terminal and you know your EMCP 3 not is turning on that's mean your EMCP3 is faulty okay after that for, for cranking purpose for fuel turning on and off purpose and uh, shut off solenoid and air air control valve and so on main engines different different engines have different different system and uh, things for turning on and off okay Pins 51, 61, 48, 58, and so on till 215, and so on. 51 is our normally NO. That means normally open. What's the meaning of normally open? The means of this, when you try to start your engine to press the uh, green button. Your green buttons send the starting command to the crank relay, starter motor relay, and turning on the engine to start. Okay. NO means normally open, and C means common. How to wire the starter motor? How to wire the fuel stop and st uh, fuel turning on solenoid? Let me explain. Okay. For example, this is our battery. Okay, negative, and this is our positive. <coughs> this is our four pin relay. Okay, load in. 
no doubt. This upper two pins we are considering with load in and load out. Okay, and these two pins, these two pins, for relay points, points supply. Okay. How the system in circuits works? First of all, first of all, this is our relay. Load in, load out, coil supply. If we want to energize this relay with the positive supply we need to take from here to give there ok after take from here to give there ok and our relay one side is engine grounded and we need to one take the load out sorry load in and load out this is our load out ok this is our starter motor is turbine to provide the starter motor is turbine when we push the ANCP green button for starting commands this module take first to supply through the through the common and give output to through the normally open and energize the starter motor relay when the starter motor relay is energized these two points be closed after that this normally open two contacts is closed to NC normally closed and this send command again to the starter motor or engine and engine start the turning ok once again I want to explain with the another example <coughs> NO C NO C and so on NC C this is our fuel shut off solenoid ok mounting on our engine fuel pump or other side to stop our fuel system to stop the engine ok this is our the main battery positive and negative ok first of all we need to take if we want to stop the solenoid to provide the negative supply to stop the solenoid first of all we need to provide to the solenoid positive supply after that we need to take one negative supply from here to provide the common after that we need to take one another connection from here and provide to the start solar unit. this is the example of NONC context using but in the reality we need to use the relay here is the relay ok first of all this is our N <coughs> this was this is the call sign load in and load out. And this there. We are already provide the negative from that side. Okay. After that, we are need to provide the positive from this side to control to energize the relay to turning on and off the fuel system. Okay. You understand? One another example, better way example. Our battery supply is 
or solenoid relay for contacts to four coil. Okay. <coughs> load in, load out. Okay, these two normally open contacts. One side is grounded. Okay. This one side is going to relay common. Okay. And we need to energize this with the positive supply or negative. It is our choice. I want to energize this relay with the positive because I already taken the ground from the chassis. Okay. After that, okay. and I need this is our fuel solenoid, for example. Good shut off solenoid. Okay. The negative already chases ground. Okay. After that, I want to take from here to load in to relay load side and relay output to another side and connect with the solenoid positive size. This is this all connection that happen in this types of wiring of this all points. You can use for this type this connection to control the, all the generator or engine con complete system with this methods. Okay. I hope you understand. In the better way, I make another video on this, on another pins, pin out how to rewire and how to diagnose the wiring system. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.